Okay, what's the difference between a domestic and a foreign PEP? So, as you guys might know, a foreign PEP is usually a senior government official, you know, someone who is maybe a member of an executive body, someone who's, you know, within the diplomacy type environment, you know, legal and legislative bodies around the world and judiciary bodies, you know, especially, you know, judges in other countries. They are going to be PEPs, especially from other countries, they're going to be foreign PEPs. Of course, close family members and known associates are going to be foreign PEPs as well due to their association. That's why we have to do enhanced due diligence. The reason that's the case is because, you know, a foreign PEP might not want to commit crime, but then they might commit their crime through someone else close to them who they trust. That's why we have to do that. Uh, in some cases with foreign PEPs, you know, you have organizations or senior executives of major international companies or branches abroad. They can also be classified as foreign PEPs and even people who are closely associated with those people. So it really does depend on the risk tolerance and the policies and procedures as to who is a PEP. Now, a domestic PEP in the U.S. Now, the reason why I say U.S. because it's very much a U.S.-centric type thing. There is a lot of people in prominent, powerful positions who can, can essentially can commit financial crime domestically in the U.S. It's not a foreign PEP thing. It's a domestic thing. So this would include maybe like the mayor of a city or a state legislative politician or someone who has, you know, exudes massive political influence within a domestic type political environment. That is what a domestic PEP is. It is very relevant to the United States alone, but because the US is so big, they have to have that. So that gives you an example of what the difference between a domestic and a foreign PEP is.